The Doberman Pinscher. It got its start in the 1860s when Louis Doberman, a taxman, he decided he needed a dog that would protect the money he did manage to collect and a dog that could handle any situation that may arise and preferably a dog that knew a thing or two about all the laws involving tax. So he bred a dog specifically for that. The Doberman actually contains Rottweiler, Thuringian Shepherd, Greyhound, Great Dane, Weimarana and German Shorthaired Shepherd. All those dogs combine to make a Doberman Pinscher. And that's your tax dollars at work. Dobermans have strength, stamina and boundless energy that they use for, for bounding. They develop close relationships with people but they can be stubborn. Anybody who comes into contact with a Doberman must be able to assert themselves so that the Doberman doesn't get the wrong idea that he or she is in charge. They have a, a desire to please and they make a good family pet but a Doberman is not always the best choice when you have children because a Doberman does actually like children and wants to protect them but sometimes it may misinterpret a child's movements and try to defend itself. So that's something to watch out for. But mostly they are likeable lazy creatures. Did I say likeable? I meant to say lovable. They are lovable lazy creatures and they can clown around and make you laugh with their antics. They are quite amazing dogs.